Hello everybody, how's it going? Today we are going to learn how to texture stone walls in Minecraft using a very simple method. I have pretty much broken this down into three simple steps. Each step has its own relatively finished wall design. Now you can stop at each step, but if you want to keep going, you can keep going, and I guarantee that the walls you have in your world are going to look amazing, the walls that you are building are going to look even better, and the walls you will build in the future will look incredible. Trust me, this is an easy way to get your walls to look really, really good in Minecraft very, very easily. So, first of all, what you want to do is first remove a bunch of this stone brick that you currently have. I guarantee that most walls probably look like this. That's what I built when I first started, but building them with a bit more plain stone is a massive improvement. If you have a look at what this looks like when it is all done, it looks significantly better. And in fact, I would leave it there for most builds. It already looks that good. Now, the next step would actually be highly recommended. It's to go ahead and add a bit of cobblestone. Now, this step comes as kind of a dual step, where you add in a bit of cobblestone, like this on the edge pieces. I wouldn't add it in the middle, it tends to look a bit odd, but around the edges so that it looks as though it has been crushed. Then we add in some blocks that I like to think of as transition blocks. Now, the transition blocks I like to use are plain andesite, as in the raw stuff that you have mined out of the ground, and cracked stone brick. A bit more on why I use them is if you have a look at them a bit closer, when they are together, there are some really great lines that carry across the textures of these blocks and give a really good transition from the rough cobblestone to the plain stone or stone bricks. Try to place these blocks around the cobblestone very close to it as if to merge them in with these other blocks. Now, you may be tempted to stop there, and I wouldn't blame you. That wall looks really, really good right now. But if you want to make a few subtle changes to make it just that little bit better. Now, I mean subtle, and I really, really mean subtle. Don't go overboard with this. We are going to add in mossy cobblestone and mossy stone brick, along with maybe a bit of polished andesite just to make a very subtle difference. But you have to know, you can't use a lot of them. For instance, adding a bit of polished andesite block here and there in place of stone brick makes a massive difference in the grand scheme of things. Another thing is adding a bit of mossy stone brick to the upper corners of the wall. As though a bit of moss has grown from water running down the sides of the wall. And now comes to the mossy cobblestone. Now, I would add this near the bottom, near some cobblestone, just because this block is a very strong block. And that green in there is what really throws it off. So if you could put it at the bottom, as if there's a bit of stuff growing from the bottom of the wall, next to some cobblestone, I reckon you can get away with it. But overall, I would probably not even add this block into a lot of my walls. It's just a very, very tough block to use. Now, hopefully you have a wall that is looking something like this or even better. I would encourage you to try and play around with some other block textures to see how they fit together. Also, to see some of this stuff done in Survival Minecraft, click the link on the screen right now or you'll find it down in the description as well. But that will do for today's video. So let me know if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.